All right, what's up? I'm Mike, and this is Jay, and we're at RKM Training, and this is Hard to Hurt. This is my absolute favorite takedown for police officers. And no, it's not the straight arm bar takedown. Did that work? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I mean, like, no, don't let me do break it. my yeah. elbow. Yeah, no, don't, it won't. Just, like, don't let me do it. Okay. All right. What's up, guys? I'm Mike. This is Jay. We're at RKM Training, and this is Hard to Hurt. And this is my favorite takedown for police officers. I was a police officer for eight years. I was, believe it or not, smaller than most of the people I arrested. I use this takedown on everybody. And no, it's not the straight arm bar takedown. Damn it. It's not the straight arm bar takedown. That thing is nonsense. That only works on little tiny 13 year old girls. It's not real. Here's a real takedown for police officers. Typically, most of the people that you try to arrest are not going to try to hurt you, but they won't always go along with it. Turn around. Turn around, put your hands on your back. Turn around, put your hands on your back. I'm saying, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Come on, give me your hands. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. And he might not be ready to run, and he might not be ready to fight, but he won't give me his hands. I can't turn him around, right? He's bigger than me and stronger than me. So my absolute favorite technique in this scenario is as he's got his hands extended, I'm gonna tap this elbow, right? He's pushing his hands away, I'm gonna tap this elbow and circle to this body lock. Now, I always go to this side. I'm always gonna go to this side, because it's my gun side. As we start playing this, slap fight game. I always am pop this and go to here. I use my head. I'm pushing into his lat or shoulder blade wherever I can push and I'm maintaining tight control. If I need to control his hands, I can control at least one hand. But when I remove this hand to get to my gun, taser, spray, whatever else I'm going to use, I still have two points of control and he can't turn back into me as easily. All right? If you go to the other side, if I pop here, if I pop here, he has access to my gun side. If I let go of my right hand, he can backstroke out and he's facing me again. So we're always going to go to our gun side. So I've decided I'm going to arrest this guy. He's snatching his hands away. I can't turn him around. I've given him orders. Nothing's working. All right? I'm not letting him get away. When he goes to push, I'm gonna pop this hand, shoot in, and secure this body lock. The takedown is really simple, and it's gonna look scrubby, and it's gonna look like some shit that doesn't work on anybody, but this has worked on probably 100 people. Everyone knows about sticking this knee behind that knee and making somebody fall. We did it, we did it to each other on the playground for years, right? All I do is put this right here, and I'm just gonna bring him back in this way. I'm gonna maintain, I'm gonna maintain this pressure and this control and I don't have to worry about getting dirty. I don't, have to be I don't have to worry about being on the ground. And there's a very low chance that I'm gonna end up on bottom when we do this takedown. There's a couple sticking points here. This entry has to be really fast and really smooth. You can't get that from watching a YouTube video. You have to practice this. If you're out of practice, it's not gonna work, right? He goes to push, it's gotta be fast, right? Has to be sudden. We achieve this body lock here. I have to push with my head. Sometimes you get a big, strong guy. He's a little bit stubborn. He's still moving around and spinning around. It's not going to work, right? But you get all the way behind, which is a no-no in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We do both knees. Boom. Down they go. Now, the reason you end up on top is because they're trying not to fall. Them trying not to fall actually supports your weight and makes it easy to kind of ease both of you onto the ground. This takedown doesn't look violent. There's a low probability you end up on bottom and it puts you in a really good position of control to get to your handcuffs, gun, taser, baton, what have you. That's a takedown for police officers, bouncers. Probably wouldn't play well in a BJJ tournament, but that's not the point of hard to hurt. I'm Mike and this is Jay. If you want more coverage of fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you click like and subscribe. Peace out.
I didn't do a good warm up or anything. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around. No, no, no. Don't listen. You're a bad guy. You don't want to get arrested. Right? So, remember when you walk up behind somebody as a kid? Stick it in there. Right? Make them drop. Stick it in. Yeah, stick it in. You stick it in.